All right, so I finally made the splurge to get this fan from Amazon. It's a solar power fan um, that will come on uh, when there's any sun. And I wanna test it out to see if it actually works even when it's cloudy. The main reason I got this fan was because this greenhouse needs it. A lot of times we might not wake up early enough. Um, at least we haven't formed the habit to start doing that as of yet. During the summertime, it's like blazing hot in here. There needs to be airflow, period. All plants need airflow, especially during the wintertime. Because right now, what I've been having is aphids eating on some of these leaves, which, you know what? Life is what it is. It's not the end of the world because you got aphids on your plants. Do you need to figure out what's going on with them? If they're nutrient deficient or whatever it is that's going on? Um, and do I need to invite more, you know, put more flowers in here? Yes, I do. This is my first time doing any kind of winter gardening whatsoever. These are my pepper plants, the bell pepper plants that I grew from the grocery store. This started growing, getting mold on it. I'm like, why is it getting mold? Kind of like I noticed like, you know, something's going on with it. And then I noticed it's aphids and I go and look up what aphids do or whatever. When aphids are sucking on the plant, what they do is they leave a, a sugary residue on the leaves. And those sugary residue, either the ants will come get it or something like that. But in the case here, there's no ants in here. All the moisture that's in here because of the lack of airflow, because believe it or not, it's actually pretty, it's a pretty decent warm um, temperature in here. And let me close the door so we can maintain this temperature. Because of the lack of airflow in here, it's been causing whatever it is, that, that sugariness to become mildew on the leaves. Now, I know you're probably telling yourself, hey, I don't see any black mildew. That's because I've been coming in here and spraying it down with vinegar, white vinegar. I take a little bit of white vinegar, put it in some water and spray my plants. And I've been doing that to spray the stems try to get the mildew off and after i'm done doing this i've also made some lactose bacillus i'm going to use that to also spray on here so the lactose bacillus can start to eat away at this bacteria as well now i did see that i had a ladybug in here so i was actually really excited the ladybugs eat aphids but i only saw one that's why i realized okay i need to start growing flowers in this greenhouse you can't not grow flowers inside the greenhouse because you're trying to just grow food yeah so i've planted some calendula and some um, chamomile in here as well. I just sprinkled some sand here because I am suspecting that there is something, probably them freaking gnats, that is sucking the life out of my plants that are growing. So I recognize the sign because I had that issue like three years ago. So what I've been trying to do is tackle one issue at a time. I have not been trying to tackle everything, nope. I noticed, hey, I need to have plants in here. I need to have flowers in here to attract the right pollinators so they can assist me. Hey, let's get it done. All right, so now I got to figure out where I'm going to put this fan. And I'm probably just going to move it around to test different areas. Um, I thought about hanging it up top. All right, so it might live right here. I don't know, but it's kind of cold. So I'm really trying to limit the amount of cold air that's coming in here. So, But that's one spot to put it, especially for the summertime. I think that would be a great location. Yeah, that's my only concern is this crack right here. Granted, it's great to have the airflow coming here, but it's about to be freezing, and I'm not trying to risk these plants uh, freezing in here because, yeah, no. Anyway, this is my lemon tree I grew from the store. A lot of this stuff is like store-bought stuff. This is cherry tomatoes from one of those cherry tomato packets. Um, That, once again, another bell pepper plant. That's store-bought. Yeah, you see all the little babies there there's another baby there it finally took off because i didn't plant it soon enough but i'm glad that i planted it in here because it took off and started producing fruit and by the time it started doing that it was probably like october so some of these things need time especially if you didn't plant them soon enough and i'm glad i didn't give up and was just like oh well whatever hey it was nice to see your plant girl you know what i mean it's like okay no realizing that some of these things some of these things here actually do need time. Yeah. Hey, you see all that black mold? So that's why I've been coming here and spraying it down. And of course, it needs to be airflow in here. Um, plain and simple. This is a store bought um, cabbage that I thought was done. And I learned that two years ago when I had threw a whole rotten cabbage. It was rotten to pieces. It was hidden in the back of the fridge. I came and threw it in the compost bin over here. 
and this is it's other generations that have been popping up ever since and my mind is blown same thing there goes another bell pepper from the st store same seeds uh just spread them in different pots and now that i know how these grow it's kind of giving me an idea like hmm do i even need to be having that many in like a pot yeah but you see all the the mildew so i need to come in here finish spraying this again and then come back in with the lactose bacillus and spray them down but i really needed the airflow um which i was noticing is the problem so yeah yeah don't give up oh this is that so this is another celery store store-bought celery that the base looked all rotten and everything boom i'm telling you you got free groceries this is about i planted these because guess what i don't want to buy celery seeds so i want this girl so anyway but this video is not about this it's about that so but i'm trying to show you like the importance of why i need this fan here because i can't have this mold stuff growing all over this this stuff all right so i was able to hang it up here yeah now i just gotta wait for the sun to come out <laughs> yep nothing <laughs> All right, so it's very, very cloudy outside, so I'm not really expecting much. Um, but yeah, but there's only one way to tell. <laughs> Time. <laughs> the issue I realized with that fan is it needs to be in direct sunlight. Where I had it down below wasn't working. Um, ideally on this roof would be much much better uh, but yeah it's working it's going nice and fast it might not look at, like it on this camera but it's actually going uh, it's actually going fast yeah you can't see the blades at all you know like the way I do on here <laughs> anyway and um, it's a nice airflow in here but I will say that since this does not have a battery of course what I noticed was when it was cloudy outside, <laughs> there's literally going to be no airflow in here. Uh, it would definitely have to be on some kind of battery powered something in order to be able to have it continually going or storing in energy somewhere. But with it being cloudy, now, if it's like partly cloudy, I noticed the fan went a much, much slower, but completely cloudy. Don't expect, yeah, just don't expect anything blowing up in here. So anyway, that's it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. I pray that the peace of the Lord be upon you. And if you're struggling to have peace, this is the perfect time to make time to read in the morning. Seek him first. Um, seek him first while he can be found. <laughs>